This is Peterborough, very noisy, Junior Motocross Club. And we're here today because it's the final of the Lem Auto Series, which is run for six to eight year olds, all riding 50cc air-cooled automatic machines. And this is the grand finale. Now here's the people that know everything that's going on here today. Alan Holland. Alan, you're the man behind this LEM series. Now, I've explained what it is basically, but why have you done it? Basically what we've been looking to do is to put bums on motorcycles. We want to encourage people out onto the tracks so that they can race in relative safety and to promote the sport. Right. This, is a, this is the grassroots level of it and us as UK distributors of LEM bikes look to invest money in the future of our product. Right. Well, it sounds good. He's convinced me already. Terry, Terry Road, you're chairman of, of this club, Peterborough Junior Motocross Club. What do you think about this? Because it's six to eight-year-olds. You already have six to eight-year-olds, don't you? Yes, we do. In our club, you start racing with us at six years old um, and uh, racing on these little fantastic automatic machines. Um, they have uh, brakes just like a pedal cycle, no gears, just twist and go, and uh, very good racing under very safe conditions. Right, so this is, is not competition for you, the LEM series. It, it's, it's good, is it? Oh, it's not competition at all. A lot of our uh, riders already use the, the LEM motorcycle, right. so, yeah, it, this is great. Well, Alan, these kids are, are going berserk out there, giving it everything they've got. So what do they get at the end of it? What are they going to win? Uh, they've got to go for everything because they've got three works rides to, to, to aim for for next year. Right. There's three guys up there that are going to support us next year out on the tracks, and that's what everybody's going to look up to. Those are the guys that have got to win this afternoon. Good stuff. What a great prize. Terry, just tell us a little bit more about... It's not just kids out on the track, this, is it? There's, there's, there's all sorts going on here. Tell us a little bit about the event in general. Yeah, um, it's a whole family sport uh, day out, this is. The children, yes, are racing out there um, and competing to the best of their ability but the whole family comes as a unit um, meet other friends here so a, there's a social gathering at the end of every week where people um, you know all get together and have a chat and help each other out they swap each other's uh, clothing and this sort of thing and keep the whole day going right excellent good stuff I've got my motocross gear on, but I'm not going on the track with them kids. They're far, far too good for me. I'm joined again by Alan. Alan, these are great fun. Fantastic. But every kid watching this is going to say, Dad, I want one of these for Christmas. What's it going to cost? Well, we've spoiled you on this one because these are the two top-of-the-range <laughs> machines. Oh, right. These go from between £1,175 and about £1,400. Yeah. The important bit is the kids can actually start off motocross from as little as £799. Right. That's for the bike, and then they can spend about £250 on the kit, and then they can get out there and race. So a bike's going to cost what? From, from 800 quid to, to 1,500 quid near enough? A bike's going to cost between 800 and 1,500 pounds, depending on the level and the ability of the child. Right, but they're all, I mean, they're all 50cc air-cooled automatics. That's right. So what's the difference between 800 quid and nearly 1,500 quid? Well, what we've actually got on the range at the start ones, they're mainly garden machines that the children can actually learn mm. to ride, learn the basic controls around the garden, around the farms at home. But when things get a little bit more serious, these machines have got higher specification engines, they've got better suspension, and a little bit more durability. All right, right. Well, I'm uh, I'm all for it. They're great. I just hope my lad's not watching this. <laughs> it's going to cost me a fortune. Right, get your helmet on. I'll go on. Then. I'll, I'll give you a race. I'll race you down the paddock. <laughs> Now I'm joined by just three of the stars today. Everyone out there is a star, believe me. We've got Connor, uh, no, we've got Mark, yeah? And we've got Connor and Melvin, all from Ireland. All from Ireland, are you? Yes. Right, now you're in the lead, aren't you, Mark? You're winning this. Yes. Right, so do uh, you think you're going to win it, do you? Yes. You're confident, are you? Yep. Right, and this bike that you're riding, what's, what's the bike? What is it? It's a lamb. A lamb, right. And uh, is that your first bike? No. No? How many bikes have you had? Two. Two bikes? I believe you've got a spare bike, haven't you? Three. Three? You've got three bikes? <laughs> Blooming heck, I don't know, that's luxury indeed. Right, um, Connor, you're in, you're in second. And Melvin, you're joint second, aren't you? Yes. So, uh, does it matter who wins? Are you good mates anyway? Yes. yes. You are? You're not going to kick him off, are you? No. Right. Do you have tactics when you go out on these races? 
you know, do you, do you plan the race before you go out? Do you think I must get inside this corner or I must get inside that? Is there a certain route you take? Yes. Yeah. Not going to be any foul players are here, are No. No. Right. Well, you're all much, much braver than me, so best of luck and, uh, and we'll see you at the end, eh? It was a fantastic weekend's racing, and all that remained now was the prize giving. People talk about the luck of the Irish. Well, this year's Lem Auto Series was all down to the skill of the Irish. It was an all Ireland 1 2 3. Mark Ferry took first place, with Melvin Scott and Connor Devlin coming in a very close second and third. There isn't much these youngsters don't know about junior motocross, although when it comes to opening champagne, they will need a little help. But with the form they've shown this weekend, there'll be plenty of opportunity to practice just that.